Her names are Catherine Klingels and uh, Nathalie Gumans, and our paper in the February 2017 issue of Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology describes the development of a new patient-reported outcome measure targeting upper limb function in daily life in patients with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, the DMD upper limb prong. The emergence of new therapeutic strategies for Duchenne muscular dystrophy has exposed an urgent need for suitable outcome measures to assess the efficacy of new treatment interventions. And so far, extensive research has been done on outcome measures targeting the ambulance stage of the disease. However, with longer trials and post-marketing requirements, it becomes uh, uh, clear that there is a need for outcome measures encompassing different stages of the disease within the framework of clinical trials. So this questionnaire is a result of collaborative effort of a multidisciplinary international clinical out outcome group consisting of clinicians, scientists, industry, young men with Duchenne muscular dystrophy and patient advocacy groups. And it was developed taking into consideration the PROM guidelines as published by the US Food and Drug Administration. First, a conceptual framework was defined to capture disease progression and decline of upper limb function in daily living. The items for the scale were selected after reviewing existing scales and were submitted to critical input from experts, patients and their families to establish the clinical meaningfulness and relevance of the scale. Secondly, data were collected in a multicentric international setting and modern psychometric uh, methods were applied to create a scale with robust internal reliability and validity. The final scale has 32 items addressing four domains of daily living, food, self-care, household and leisure. Items are scored on a three-point Likert scale as cannot do, can do with difficulty and can do easily. The main purpose of this questionnaire is to describe patient self-reported natural history in Duchenne muscular dystrophy and to assess the efficacy of interventions in daily life. Further study is warranted on the responsiveness and predictiveness of this scale. We thank you for your attention.